All right, folks, I got a good one for the right person. This is the perfect little Volkswagen Jetta. It's a 2001. I'm going to be selling this as a mechanic special, and I'll explain what I mean by that as we go along. But let's hit the salient points here. Start her up. She always starts right up. Now, there is an ABS light on. It's a wheel sensor, a wheel speed sensor, and I didn't get it fixed, and there's a specific reason why, and I'll explain that as we go along. This has some interesting stuff in it. It's got cloth seats. The interior's in fantastic uh, shape. Cloth seats, but they're heated cloth seats. I think that's kind of cool. We got a nice uh, power tilt and slide sunroof. There you have it. And as you can see, it should work exactly as it's supposed to. Although with Volkswagen sunroofs, you just never know. And of course, it's got, you know, the cover. Uh, power windows. Let's check those out. Right rear. Let's see. Yep. Down and up. Right front. Down. Auto down, by the way. And auto up. Come around to this side. Left rear. Down. Up. And driver down. Auto down. And auto up. Oh, excuse me. Ah, let's see. Uh, of course, you can see, besides the ABS light, there's no check engine lights, no other warning lights on like that. Let's check the radio. And if I can figure this out, Volkswagen hook with the monsoon radio. And let's see if it plays. Hope it doesn't need a code or something stupid. It's got a CD player. Oh, it's got a CD changer, too. Huh? Where's the volume on this thing? You can hear that it does work. Okay, I'm sitting here farting around. I don't know about the CD changer, the CD player. I, you know, don't even know if it has a CD changer. Air conditioning is ice cold, so that's a good thing. This car has, I believe, yep, cruise control, power window, or mirrors. Let's check those out, this one. As you can see, there's some tape around the mirror. I don't know what's up with that, but just letting you know. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a fixer-upper, but one thing I know about these Jettas Young people love them, and they are big on the tuner car circuit. So, now I don't know if this is the exact one they would want. This is the non-turbocharged version. It's the one I prefer the most, because I look at it this way. Less problems, you know, you don't have to deal with a turbocharger. It's just not quite as quick. But, whatever, that's going to be up to you to decide whether you want to mess with that or not. Okay, let's go and check the outside of the car. Oh, mileage, I didn't even mention that. Geez, sorry. It's got... Where is it? Uh, 153, 196 on the miles. So for a 14-year-old uh, or 13-year-old Jetta, not horrible mileage. Just a little over 10,000 miles a year, actually. And as I'm sure any of you uh, Volkswagen enthusiasts know, these things go a long, long way. All right, let's do, like I always do, we'll start with the tire tread. And left front tire has, it looks like, yeah, about 6.30 seconds of tread, which means it's halfway, because most passenger car tires start out with 12.30 seconds. Actually, it's funny, because they actually feel meatier than that, but i got to go by what the gauge says. The rear one, 6.30 seconds. Move on around to this side. And this is your right rear. Let's see what that says. And that's also 6.30 seconds. And the right front, I'm gonna guess is probably the same, but I like to check for you. If I get this thing in the stupid tread, there we go. Ah, I'll get that. Come on, get in the tread. All right, there we go. And that one's a little less, that's like 430 seconds. Okay, so, moral of the story is, you might wanna put the two best ones on the front, but it's not bad. Now, as you see, it's got the nice aluminum alloy wheels. They are missing the Volkswagen emblem on the center cap. The center cap's there. In fact, three of the center caps are there. One of them's missing. That one's absolutely missing. But the funny thing is, they, uh, what you call it? They don't have the Volkswagen emblem. I don't know where it went. Okay, right front fender. Looks like no dents, no nicks, no scratches, no rust. Right front door. Looks like no nicks, no dents, no scratches, no rust. Coming on the roof. I don't see any nicks, no dings, no scratches. The body on this car is actually pretty darn nice, which also makes it attractive. I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but the air conditioner is absolutely ice cold in this car. Now you can see it's got the nice factory floor mats. 
Nice cloth seats, which are in very good condition. I mean, a little wear and tear in the driver's seat right there, but nothing you wouldn't expect. And actually, it's better than you would expect on a vehicle of this mileage. Let's do your door jam here. Very nice. We'll do your door frame. And we'll get down to the really important area, which, of course, is down here, which is if there's going to be rust, it's going to start right in this area. But as you can see on this one, pretty darn nice condition. Even the little... Uh, Warning light works there. Very nice. Right rear door. I see a little scratch right there. No big deal, but I don't see any dings, any dents, and no rust. Okay, let's open it up. You can check out the back seat. Here's your uh, the door jam. Here's your rear seat. Oh, this car does have front and side airbags, as you can see. Very nice safety feature. You can see that's in pretty nice shape. Now what I gotta do is I'm gonna pull down the uh oh shoot, maybe I'm not gonna do that. I don't know why it's not letting me. Well, I'll do the other side. Alright, going on to the quarter panel, I do see some scratch right there. Not a huge deal, but there's no dents, no rust, and just that little scratch there. Coming around to the back, it does have the rear spoiler. As you can see, it's a Volkswagen Jetta. I'm almost hundred percent certain this is a GLS. That's why it's got, you know, the power windows, the sunroof, all that stuff. Uh, and it's got the spoiler. But it doesn't say anything on the outside of the car. Now we'll take a look underneath. There we go. Get a nice little view under there. Coming down the left side, left rear quarter panel. Looks very clean. No dings, no dents, no scratches. Looks pretty clean. Uh, the roof on this side also looks very nice. And now we're on the left rear door. And let's check out, here's your door jam, there you go, alright, here is your uh, interior, your seats, and of course it's got side airbag on this side, here's your door frame, and as you can see, very good shape, no rust. Alright, driver's door, it looks like we've got a little bubble there, nothing big. Other than that, no nicks, no dings, no scratches, no rust, door jam, door frame, and of course the most important area as you can see, clean as a whistle. And a little light on this side works too, there you go. And of course let's do the left front fender. Looks like we had a little bit of a rust bubble there, but no big deal. Again, if you step back from this car, it's not perfect. Like I said, it's a mechanic special. But you can see, it's actually a really nice looking little car. All right, coming around the front. Headlights are nice and clear. It looks like you're going to need, if you really want to get fancy, you can put a new little grill in there, which I'm sure you can find at the junkyard for a very reasonable price. But the rest of the bumper actually looks pretty nice. And we'll go under here. much because there's that shield in the way but I'll give you what I got all right now here's the underside of the hood okay of course here is the main uh, attraction of course this is the two-liter four-cylinder engine in this baby and let's see there it is I'll rev it up for you you can hear her Obviously, you don't have to be a genius or a mechanic to know that sounds fantastic. That's what they sound like when they're brand new. Uh, no high rev knock, no valve train noise. The engine in this car is really nice, really strong. And one of the really benefits here is, you'll see the actual piston that holds the hood up actually works. And now we'll put that up. And you can see it's got a variety of little bit of uh, stone chips. You know, some of them we tried to... Uh, touch up so they wouldn't rust that sort of thing but you know overall like I said this actually is a really decent looking car and if you live in New Jersey you have about one month left on the inspection sticker then you'd have to run it through again but it will go through because there's no check engine lights on uh, but if you live in another state you're gonna have to find out from them what the uh, deal is all right but here we're gonna take it for a ride and that's when I'm gonna explain to you what the um, mechanic special part of this car is and why you're going to be able to buy it so darn cheap. 
Okay, you guys got to see it start ice cold. Now I'm going to start it up for you while it's warm. I always like to do that because, you know, different things show different things. So, whatever. Okay, uh, why is this a mechanic special? I'm going to tell you. I bought the car, and when I drove it, I heard a clunking noise. I'm like, oh, easy. A motor mount, easy fix. Well, I was wrong. It's not the motor mount. It's the transmission mount, the little ear that actually attaches to the car, snapped off. So in order to fix it, you're going to need to be able to weld aluminum or know someone that does know how to weld aluminum. The car is drivable if you're very careful and you pussyfoot around. And it actually runs really, really good. But I got to tell you, because you're going to hear some clunking noises when we go on a test drive. The only other thing I know that's actually mechanically wrong with the car is you're going to need to put a uh, power steering hose on. Uh, this one, it looks like it's got a cut in it, so it leaks the fluid out very quickly. Like, it'll probably be empty by the time we get back from the test drive. That's how fast it comes out. But other than that, the engine, I'd say, is 100%. The trans shifts nice and smoothly. It's just that stupid mount. All right, you can hear it right now rattling. Here we go. I'm going to try to take it easy because I don't like to bang it around. But like I said, see, you drive it nice and easy. You could probably drive this stupid thing across the country. I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. But you probably could if you really had to. Uh, but it is something that if you're going to drive the car every day, you're going to want to have get fixed. But as you can see, we're up to 50 miles an hour right now. And nice and smooth, shifted through all the gears. It's quiet. Like I said, the air blows ice cold. Look at this, hands off the wheel. No hands here. Going straight down the road. This is just a super nice car for the right person. Obviously, don't buy this car if you think you're going to hop in it and just drive it every day, use it as a commuter. This is not the car for you. You're going to have to do a couple things to it, like I said. But the good news will be that I will be selling it at a price that will take into account the fact that you might have to pull the trans and have that welded, or unless you have a guy that's really good, can do it on the car and save you a bunch of money. But that's up to you. And of course, you know, fix the power steering hose. But other than that, it needs nothing else. All right, now we're gonna turn around and we're going to head back. Here we go. And as you can see, I can even give it a little bit of gas. Once you get rolling, you can actually step on the gas pretty good, you know, to get yourself up to speed. It's not dangerous is what I'm saying. Four-speed automatic, it's got plenty of pep. I mean, here we are, we're doing 55 miles an hour, no problem. Now, one thing I'm gonna do for you guys is a brake test, and what that's gonna consist of very simply, me pulling into a vacant lot across the street from my place, letting go of the steering wheel and slamming on the brakes. I'll describe to you how they feel, but about the only visual thing you can see is if you keep your eyes on the steering wheel, you can see if it swings wildly to the right or to the left, then you know you might have a brake balance issue. But other than that, I'll tell you what happens um, when I slam on the brakes. That's the best I can do on a video. So here we go. Pull in here. All right, I slow down to about 25 miles an hour is where I usually do this. I actually find a little patch of loose gravel here. Hands off the wheel, and now, good news. If you noticed, the steering wheel did not budge. That means the brakes are balanced perfectly, but, or, or actually, in addition to that, it stopped it very quickly as well. So the brakes do feel very good on this car. All right, and now I'm gonna pull back and we'll do our little recap and we'll call it a day. This is a 2001. Volkswagen Jetta. As I said, I'm pretty sure it's a GLS because it's got the, that up level of equipment. Uh, 153,198 miles on it. I am selling it as a mechanic special. I do have a clean New Jersey A title for this car. Okay, that does reflect the appropriate mileage and everything like that. Interior is very nice. The exterior is very nice. You know, all things considered, it's a 13 year old 153,000 mile car. Uh, it's certainly not perfect, of course, but it is a mechanic special because you're going to need to weld that ear on the transmission and, like I said, replace a power steering hose, which actually that's something that's really not that hard or expensive to do, but it's actually something I completely forgot about and I just remembered when I came out and moved the car around. All right, we're going to take one more little walk around the car. Sorry about my shaky cam camera work there. I got to get a new tripod, one of those like rolly tripods that, you know, absorbs the shock. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a walk around so you can see what a really nice uh, car this actually is. All right.
right, folks, there you go. So if you need, um, uh, if you know somebody, especially the young people that just love to work on these cars, this would be a great starting point for them. Great interior, great exterior, great engine, great transmission. Just needs that little issue fixed. And you're gonna have yourself one heck of a nice little car. And as I always do, I hope this goes to a good home. Thanks.